this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the hotel gym. We're no longer in the home gym. We are here for a couple days, getting some workouts in, doing some fun stuff, taking a break from all the hustle and bustle, but we're always working. And I decided that it'd be a great opportunity to show you how I film, edit, and sell the workout content, especially the videos on stevierichardsfitness.com. So we're gonna cover the filming, how we film, what we use, cameras, different kinds of techniques, and then editing, which actually, believe it or not, there's a powerful free version available for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. So there's no excuse to get really good video. And also, you can hear it here, I have a lav 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 lavalier microphone. I have, I have a microphone hooked up to me for better audio, because even more important than the video for workout videos, is the audio. I need to hear the cues. You need to hear the cues. Super, super important. So if I were to rate it, I would rate audio above video, but we're going to do a completely separate video. There's too many videos and audios in this opening, but I'm going to do a completely separate tutorial and technique and workflow for audio. Super, super important with workout videos. I hate it when I can't hear the instructor, especially something like yoga where your head's down looking at the floor and you don't know what the next move or pose is. So that's very important. Uh, now we're gonna talk about video. Now right here we have a Sony A6400 hooked up to a Saramonic Blink 500 B2, the two meaning there's two microphones. So if my wife and myself are working out, we're both mic'd up. Uh, like I said, we'll get to that in a future video. But right now the Sony A6400 has a 16 millimeter F1.4 lens. Kind of expensive. But, and this is also another important thing with workout videos, multiple camera angles. Over here we have my wife. She is shooting on an iPhone 11, not, e not even the iPhone 11 Pro, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the iPhone 12, whatever it is. The iPhone 11, you can use any iPhone. Most of them shoot in HD, even 4K. So if you're gonna sell the workout videos, and I'll get to that, you're probably not gonna have 1080p or 4K because the storage, the upload, uh, you know, size is too much. So we're shooting here on Filmic Pro. So if you even wanna take your videos up to the next level and really fine tune them, you can pay 10 bucks or 15 bucks now. They raised the price, but they also have cinema, cinematographers, bundles. I am speaking way too quickly, aren't I? My wife is nodding. So they have bundles, but you can pay a very low entry price to get some DSLR functions that you normally would get with a thousand dollar camera and then you have to buy the lens. So we have an iPhone 11 Filmic Pro, but you can use the standard iPhone camera app. It's very, uh, you know, powerful, very easy to use, great autofocus, great auto exposure. Now we're gonna get to the audio, like I said, it's a completely separate video, but we have multiple camera angles here. We have this over here, we have this over here. This is an indoor space and we're gonna have lots of places to do this but you may not have that. So you have to get creative. You have to make sure you get multiple camera angles throughout there. The more, the better. They just put up three or four cameras, even a GoPro, a cheap action cam, a cheap iPod touch. It really doesn't matter. It only matters how you capture the footage and how the footage, of course, sounds so your customers can hear it. Next really important thing sometimes is when you're explaining something that you can't capture live, you can always insert B-roll into it. Now, if you have a workout video that you're selling, that's gonna be kind of hard, it's gonna be a little bit jarring, but if you're filming a video like this, you can have B-roll, much like when I was here on the elliptical, I was there for what my wife claims to be way too long, but I was on the elliptical over here, and I shot some B-roll footage with the Sony a6400, as a matter of fact, a little inception. My wife was shooting with Filmic Pro, shooting the B-roll to show you how that B-roll is shot. And if you're a one person film crew, it's gonna be a little bit difficult and you gotta prepare a little bit. But if you have somebody like my wife who's very helpful and supportive, uh, you can ask them to shoot any kind of B-roll throughout or even a moving shot as a third camera angle on top of your two camera angles for your workout videos. So it's just trial and error, it's having fun with it. But if you go away like we did, you have to really be prepared because it's a long trip where we are right now and we wanna get all the footage we can get the filming right, and of course, get the audio right. Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards, and welcome back to the home beach. Well, it's not the home gym, we are here on the beach, and this is actually the location, or near the location, where we filmed the beginner yoga video series at stevierichardsfitness.com. 
So one of the things I want to teach you about filming workout videos is number one, get out of the home gym, get out of the static environment. Of course, when you do that, you're going to take some chances. There's some ocean sound behind me. There's seagulls. There's people on the beach. So we kind of have to limit the space we're at. And this right here, as we pan back and forth, this is not the ideal space to film a workout video, but you get the idea of coming outside to a location and taking a chance to be different. I mean, lots of workout videos are filmed on the beach and the beach is incredibly popular for that. But just know your audio, your video, the location, it's kind of dynamic and always moving. So you gotta be careful. But this is also something that makes you stand out from other people. We were in a hotel gym, it was okay. But now that we have this whole ocean behind us, it looks a lot cooler, it's a lot more pleasing. There's a lot of people that bought the beginner yoga video series because it was on the beach. It makes them feel relaxed. It makes them feel at the beach. That could be the mountains. It could be at a resort. It could be anywhere. Or if you have a much more organized home gym than I do right now, or better lighting, you can do that as well. But this right here is an incredible setting that you just can't pay for. You don't have to pay a permit. Well, do you have to pay a permit? I don't know, we, we filmed it anyway. So, But as you come down here too, even right here, you can film a bunch of stuff. Even if you're just doing a little cardio or hit workout or something, doesn't matter. No no equipment, or if you like I did with the, um, the beginner yoga video series where the ocean was hitting me in the face as I was trying to record the commercial, that's also a cool thing to do. So just be mindful, take a chance with it. Of course, like I said on the hotel part of this, you have to be prepared when you're doing multicam. You gotta make sure the audio is good. And especially in this setting, you gotta have good audio. People have to be able to hear you because we're still fighting with a wireless microphone system. We're still fighting the waves and the crashing of the ocean, which could be a positive and negative. A lot of people said we love the sound of the ocean in the background as we were watching the yoga videos. So just do that, take a chance, go out and film, and of course, with B-roll, you, you can shoot B-roll, like I said, to kind of cover up, but you do not want to do that. That's a last resort. You want to be able to have as many camera angles as possible to be able to capture everything live and also sync the audio up to the multicam. I needed to sit down for a second. The waves were crashing, knocking me around. Uh, but speaking of being crashed around, the one thing you don't want to do is have shaky camera footage. Now, my wife, is shooting on the A6400 right now from Sony. It's a very steady hand, but if you're shooting a workout video yourself, which most times it was me setting up two or three cameras, you're gonna need a tripod, maybe multiple tripods. I have this compact one here uh, <laughs> that has a case, but I also have a really small smartphone one, smartphone one, there we go. I have a really compact smartphone tripod that fits right in here. And I use the iPhone 11 with that. It's great for some like yoga workout videos where you wanna get a lower camera angle. This can be the static one. We're basically shooting right here, showing the side view of what you wanna do. Then where your foot positioning is down on the ground with the iPhone and the mini tripod. This one costs about 67 bucks. The one I have in the bag here, it's a six in one tripod monopod, 30 bucks. So around a hundred bucks for two tripods and you have nice steady shots on multiple camera angles in your workout video. And I'm sliding off the rock right now. So the most important thing, at least in my opinion, when you're doing a workout video, and it has nothing to do with the technical stuff, cameras, microphones, or anything, but the most important thing with any workout video, whether you're doing yoga, resistance bands, weight training, hit training, whatever it is, please, please, please show the modifications. Show the modifications. It's not a chance for you to show off about how great a shape you're in. It's not a contest. You're not appealing in most cases if you really wanna to appeal to the masses. You don't wanna to appeal to the people that already know what they're doing. You don't wanna to appeal to the people that are already experts because most times they're not gonna buy your program. You wanna to appeal to the beginner, the person having trouble. So I'm saying 75, 80%, maybe more modifications then show the more challenging version if you can. Also, please show your vulnerabilities during the workout videos. Show that you can't do everything perfectly. It's gonna lead people to be disarmed by you 
and they're more likely to purchase whatever workout program, video, or whatever product or service that you're selling. So here we are back in the home studio, unfortunately, no longer. Oh my God. No longer on the beaches of Florida. We miss it already. However, stay tuned, stay subscribed, click the bell to get notified. There may be some changes coming soon. We might have a new home gym tour, maybe even a garage gym tour coming in the future. So little hint there, but for now, like I said, we are back in the studio. We filmed, we recorded, we got as much footage as we can. We got multi-cam angles. Now we need to edit. Now, right here, I have a 27 inch iMac. At the time of this recording, the top spec regular iMac, it's an eight core i9, 64 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD, uh, Radeon 580X, eight gig video card. However, I'm using however a lot, this right here, the M1 MacBook Air, the base model is a very powerful option if you want to get a Mac and you want to be able to video edit, especially with one of the video editing applications we are going to talk about. And that application, which I use for the most part, splitting my time between this and the next one, but for the most part using Final Cut Pro 10. I've been using that for many years. I enjoy it and it's optimized obviously for the Mac and especially the M1 screams using Final Cut Pro 10. It's an Apple created app, so that's why Macs run great on Final Cut Pro 10. The next option would be actually free. If you choose to make it free, it has two different tiers. DaVinci Resolve 17, there's a free version and a studio version. I'm using the studio version on the iMac and the M1 MacBook Air. It works great. I had used the free version for many months, maybe almost a year, 16 and then ended the 17 before I even purchased it to get the free speed editor. So I'd probably be on the free version if they didn't offer that free DaVinci Resolve speed editor with the purchase price of Studio. So the free version is more than enough and right there you're saving money. So you can put that money into video, you can put it into audio, you can put it into other things and we're gonna get to that in a second when we talk about selling your workout videos, your workout programs, your workout content. So what I personally use and I find to be the easiest across the board when you're building a website and then putting it into a commerce type business model is Squarespace. Now Squarespace does not sponsor this video at all. I'm just speaking from a customer's point of view. I pay around $312 a year for the tier that I have. I pay $20 a year for the domain stevierichardsfitness.com. When I paid in full on the first year, it was free. So I saved $20 right off the bat. Now the reason why $312 or around 300 bucks for Squarespace is something I wanna bring up is because if you don't wanna pay for DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is $295, that money can be put towards your Squarespace site. Or even if you wanted to go with a lower plan, which where I'm working at from a small business standpoint, the model I have, the business pricing plan that I have for the website, commerce, and all the features, the $312 a year, or if you wanted to pay monthly, obviously, that will be more. I pay on an annual basis. Uh, it more than pays for itself, and I really do love the features that it has with this particular plan for Squarespace. So essentially, most of how StevieRichardsFitness.com runs off of Squarespace is through digital products. We're talking about workout programs, workout videos, digital downloads. So we upload everything digitally. We make sure it's under the cap limit, which is around, at the time, 300 megabytes. So we have to be careful with that to make sure that we go under 300 megs for each file. We could also zip the files together as a bundle and then people unzip them, but I found out that a lot of customers, especially beginners that buy the programs and videos, they have a little bit of difficulty with unzipping. So I tend to keep the entire download for one thing, say the full body workout video under 300 megs. Uh, the PDF programs are always gonna be under 300 megs, so there's no problem with that. We do have some physical products on the website and we're blessed to be able to work with Dynapro Direct, Matt uh, Donovan and the entire group of people at Dynapro have been great. And then basically the way that works is we connect, uh, meaning Stevie Richards Fitness connects to Dynapro's ship station. And that's the 
program that works with Squarespace, and Dynapro has been amazing. They deal with the shipping, the customer service, the warranty exchanges, any kind of support. And I'm always in those emails with Matt and everybody from Dynapro, but it's so automated and hands-off in a way that it's incredible. Now, my, my tendency is to be as hands-on as possible, but the team from Dynapro and everybody and the way they have offered uh, to help Stevie Richards Fitness has been incredible. To be able to offer physical products seamlessly with the digital so people can buy everything in one place and then get the information that they need. And obviously with upgrades like ShipStation and other things, I, I believe you can even use stamps.com or any kind of other postal service with Squarespace. If you have physical products that you wanna sell and connect and do that stuff, you can totally do that. The, my experience, uh, I know dealing with the digital stuff is great and then having a business partner like Dynapro has been just incredible. So you can go with those different two different ways, whether you want to do it all yourself or if you want to find a business partner that will have the same vision and mission statement as you, which Dynapro basically has the same mission statement. They want to help people at affordable prices and they want to offer great customer service. And even with the warranty, just send them a picture. They'll send you out a new band or jump rope or door anchor or whatever it might be. And you don't have to send the band, the broken part or whatever back to them. Really, really amazing stuff. And I can't say enough how thankful I am to each and every one of them. To, to find good people in any kind of business is tough. But when you find them, you hold on to them and you basically try to grow that, that partnership as much as possible. So that is about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We're gonna to try to timestamp it as much as we can with the categories that we covered in this video. I hope it was useful information. If it was, please subscribe, click the bell to get notified, and as I've said with the selling part, go to stevierichardsfitness.com, check out the programs, videos, and of course the Dynapro direct products we have in the SRF store. Uh, we have affiliate models too that we are very grateful that people use the links and codes, forceusa.com forward slash Stevie, diamondbackfitness.com forward slash Stevie, and the rest of the links and the codes in the description below. Thank you guys so much for supporting the brand, supporting this channel, and everything that I do as far as furthering the brand and the business. I really do appreciate it. Most importantly, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.